and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today I look very shiny, but we are going to change that. I'm going to show you my realistic everyday makeup routine. I don't do makeup every day, I just put it on on days where I feel like I want to look a little bit more human. The first thing I do after letting my skincare sink in for a bit is I blot. These blotting papers are from... I don't remember where I got these. But I usually get my blotting papers from Daiso, so that's probably where they're from. Now that I've blotted, I'm going to add a little bit of primer. This I only put on my nose. It's the Bosha... Is it Bosha or Basha? I don't know. Pore Affecting White Charcoal Primer Stuff. I put it on my nose, and if there's any left on my hands, I put it on my brows to make sure these stay on during the day. Next, I'm going to apply the VDL Lumi Layer. I was gonna say foundation. This is a primer. I do this when I want a little extra glow. Take one pump, because you don't need a lot of this. Makes the skin look very glowy, kind of blurs it as well. And I skipped my nose and my under eyes. Although I wonder how it would look with my under eyes on. I usually don't put on my under eyes, so we're just gonna skip that for today. I bought this from YesStyle. I don't remember how much it costs, but everything that I use will be linked down below. Next, I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal. This is in the shade Espresso. Trend that you will all notice in this video, most likely, is that I'm using items more sparingly than I would for a glam makeup look. I don't want to feel like I'm wearing makeup. I just want to feel like I just kind of naturally look this way. So I'm going to put some on the nose. I don't worry about getting the lines too perfect because they are going to be blended out anyway. And now I'm going to blend it out. When I started doing my makeup this way, I tried to take shortcuts and instead of using a sponge like I usually would with my makeup, I tried using my fingers and that works for a lot of people, but for me, it does not work out well. Sometimes I also do this in my bathroom in the morning, like right after my skincare, but I prefer to let my skincare sit for a little while before putting on any makeup. Next, I use these Hourglass Veil Retouching Fluids. This one I usually use for brightening and this one I use to cover up any blemishes. This is with the darker shade. This is in the shade Sand. This stuff isn't actually concealer. It's supposed to be a retouching fluid and they say to use it to touch up your makeup. I saw Sarah Ray Vargas use it on one of her Instagram stories and it blended out perfectly. I was like, okay, I need it in my life. Here is the shade Natural. I use this to brighten up on my... on my... <laughs> I use it to brighten up under my eyes. I'm still doing the dot thing, but I, I keep seeing people do this which is supposed to be better. I don't, I don't know. Do what you feel like doing. But uh, since I already did dots, I have to do it on the other side too because symmetry. Now I go in with cream or liquid blush. I have quite a few of these, but today I'm gonna go with these ones that I also got from YesStyle. This one doesn't have a color name. This one is also does not have a name on it. I will link them down below and put the names next to it. So since the peach one is darker, I put a couple dots on the outside of my face with this. I also put a little bit on my nose. I'm blending it out with my fingers because it has much better coverage this way. I really like these because they are very soft. It's kind of watery. So once it dries down, it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything. And I'm gonna take the pink one and put it on the apples of my cheeks. And I put a little bit on my nose too. Next, I don't think I mentioned this, but I'm not actually going to put on any foundation. So this is what our base looks like. And I'm going to put on this Skin Food Buckwheat Loose Powder. Yes, I'll put a little sticker over the top. So I'm showing you the bottom. It kind of does have like a slight little hint of color. I feel like it adds the perfect amount of coverage for what I'm going for. As you can see, I just pat it in place and then I blend it out. Sometimes on days where I actually have no time to do all this, or if I just don't feel like it, I just put this on with eyebrows and mascara, and then chapstick, any kind of moisturizing with product. Next, on to brows, I keep it really simple. I just use two products. Any kind of pencil that I have, this is the Winky Lux Unibrow, and I use the M Cosmetics Brow Cream. I have it in the shape, in the shape, in the shade, all I'm doing is filling in these sparse areas, which on this eyebrow is a lot. This one, she does okay. This one, not so much. She has a harder time, so she needs a little extra love. I wish I had enough brow hairs to just do soap brows and call it a day. But that's not an option that I have. This brow cream from M Cosmetics is probably my favorite brow product that I've used. It's similar to boy brow, but it's better than boy brow. I also use this alone. If you want to see me do that, uh, follow for the vlogs. But this actually works really well on its own because if you touch it to the skin, it leaves behind just enough color to make it look like you put in more effort than just brushing this thing through it. So why didn't I just do that today? 
I don't know. I was worried. I wanted to make sure my eyebrows look decent for the video. So I'm gonna jump into bronzer. This is the Bahama Mama bronzer from The Bomb. I haven't bought anything from them in a while. And I'm just taking a little bit on my nose to make my nose contour a little, little bit more visible again because it kind of disappeared. Which it usually does because I'm afraid to make it too bold in the beginning and then my whole face is just messed up after that. I'd rather have to touch something up and add more than add too much and not be able to take away. And I also take the same brush and I just sweep, sweep, swipe. I, I just brush a little bit onto my eyes. Mostly in the crease, slightly above the crease, and on the outer corners. And I take it on the smaller brush that I also used on my nose, and just apply a little bit to the lower lash line. Next, I'm going to take this liquid eyeshadow from Peri Para. I also got this from YesStyle. And all I do is I put some on my ring finger, like so. I usually skip this step, but I do like to have just a little bit of something going on on the eyelid. This also looks really good on top of other eyeshadows. For me, I feel like with such little makeup, this makes my eyes look more awake. Especially because I'm not going to be wearing falsies. Next, I'm going to jump back to blush for a moment. This is from the same, the same, I don't know. But I also got this from YesStyle. It's a blush. It's this peachy shade. I just take one little swipe of it. I take a little bit of it, put it on my nose, and then I also take a little bit of it right above the cupid's bill to add a little bit of color there. Next we have lashes. I change my mascara all the time. Right now I'm using a combination of the NYX Doll Eye Mascara and the Buxom Waterproof Mascara. This is the most unenjoyable part. It's not that bad, but I don't necessarily like it. My brows do not stay curled. Not my brows, my lashes. My lashes never stay curled. I don't have the patience to put on falsies every morning because I'm not very good at it. And I never get as close to my lash line as I would like. So I feel like I have to put on liner before putting that on. I definitely don't want to deal with liner. So yeah, I just pile on as much mascara as possible. My lash- ow. Ow. Poked myself in the eye. That was not fun. I'm also going to poke myself in the eye again. This is a gel waterproof pencil liner. And I'm just gonna pop it right in here. Did I mention that it's brown? This is from Maybelline. I forget what it's called. Lasting Drama. I've had this one for a while. I put a little line of it right at the edge of my eye, kind of following the line that my eyelashes make right there, as you can see. And then I take an angled brush and just pull up to the corner of my eyebrow. And that kind of makes this tiny little baby wing. This side is always like really cute, sharp. This side, not so much, but I try my best. Okay, that turned out pretty good today. Just kidding, they always both turn out perfect. And I put on just a little bit right on the outer corner of the bottom lash line. Back to mascara for a second. I take the Buxom one. Next, for highlight, I am using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is a liquid one. They don't make this anymore. They make a different type. I don't know if it's the same thing. I put two dots there, one dot right here, a dot right here. One dot under each eyebrow. I don't know if both of them came out even. And then a little bit on the cupid's bow. I just blend it out with my fingers. I'm looking for a new liquid highlighter to use in place of this because obviously they discontinued it and Becca's going out of business. And I think they're going to completely shut down in September of this year. Lastly, onto lips. I'm going to be using the Lipstick Queen lipstick in the shade Frog Prince. This just gives you your own shade of pink. I love using this stuff because it's really low maintenance. I don't have to worry about it smudging or anything. And lastly, I'm going to use this Ultimate Lip Plumper Gloss. I got this off Amazon. It's not like my favorite thing, but it works okay. I haven't been wearing lipstick as often because if I'm gonna leave the house, I'm gonna end up putting a mask over it anyway. So it kind of feels like a waste. And that's the whole look, you guys. Another thing that I often do is put on freckles using the ColourPop freckle pens. But I'm not gonna do that today. I'm gonna let it be. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below if you have not already. I put new videos every week. So hope you guys stick around. Also, don't forget that all the items that I used in this video will be linked down below for you guys. If you want to try anything out or take a closer look. And that's the end. Hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. Be nice to each other. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.